Building on many years of foundational wireless and AI research, we launched the world's first 5G AI processor last year. This year, the Snapdragon X75 will harness AI hardware acceleration to enable breakthrough 5G performance. Looking forward, we continue to drive wireless AI advances that can solve difficult wireless challenges. This video showcases the latest innovations in this key area of our research for 5G advance and beyond. At Qualcomm Technologies, we have successfully mobilized 5G millimeter wave, and it was no small feat. It took many years of foundational research and precise engineering to overcome the once deemed impossible millimeter wave challenge. An ongoing research area and an active project in 5G Advanced Release 18 looks at how adopting machine learning can further improve millimeter wave performance. The idea is for machine learning to reliably predict millimeter wave beam selected for transmission and reception, thereby reducing signaling overhead on the network and power consumption on the device. A over-the-air 28 gigahertz test network in San Diego, California implements machine learning based beam management at our base station and our test user is carrying a 5G device that also supports machine learning based beam management. In this test, we are comparing the beam selected for transmission on the base station with machine learning based beam prediction and beam selected by RF measurements. As you can see in the base station beam selection charts, they match in most instances. This is confirmed by the signal strength and throughput charts and this is the desired outcome. Now let's look at the device side, which also implements machine learning based beam prediction. Similarly, we see the throughput obtained with machine learning prediction matches well with non-machine learning reference. The benefit is realized through device power savings, which is a result of communication overhead reduction. In conclusion, we saw how machine learning enabled beam management on both the base station and devices can further improve millimeter wave system performance. We're very excited about the potential of wireless machine learning and how it can help to improve all aspects of wireless communications and more. 5G Advanced started the journey of utilizing machine learning as a tool for wireless system design. And one focus area is a data-driven air interface that can reap the benefits of cross-node machine learning between the network and devices. One specific use case being studied in Release 18 is to dynamically adapt channel state feedback for the advanced massive MIMO system. Well, we have shown the benefits of such design in our demonstration from previous years. There still exists the implementation challenge when multiple vendors are involved. Let me explain. For this demonstration, we are utilizing our improved 3.5 GHz test network in San Diego, California. In this first scenario, we have a multi-vendor implementation, which means the network equipment and devices come from different vendors. Well, it is possible to train the encoder and decoder neural networks independently. Currently defined in 3GPP, it does not yield ideal results. And to facilitate joint training, which is to train the base station and device simultaneously, it requires sharing of proprietary knowledge of neural network structures across vendors. This is not desirable. To avoid this, we can adopt a sequential training methodology. In this implementation, device and base station vendors agree on data sharing for sequential training, and new network structures do not need to be shared across vendors. In our example, the device is trained first from the data it collected, and the data is then shared with the base station for training. The result is comparable system performance as shown in the graphs. But sequential training can enable multiple network and device vendors in the same system. A data-driven air interface can dynamically and continuously learn from the environment to improve its performance and efficiency. In conclusion, we see that multi-vendor cross-node machine learning can be practically implemented through sequential training we are excited to be driving the complementary 5G and AI evolution into future standards as well as towards real-world system implementations. If we want to see another research area, click here. If you want to learn more about what we are showing at MWC, 
click here. If you're not subscribed, click here.